Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Well, make yourself at home. Welcome. <laughs> We're here with my dear to talk about home and home comforts. And I'm going to begin with a, with a big one. What does home mean to you, Ruben? I don't know. For me, essentially, home means family. Uh, means being around them and whatever they are. Uh, that's where my home is, so yeah. Obviously, kind of given, you know, you have to kind of move around a lot and you spend time in different places. Do you have any of those home comforts back in Portugal you like to go back to or you miss maybe? The big ones I most miss is the sun, is the being close to the beach mm -hmm. and being just uh, easy, easy going with five minutes I'm, I'm on the beach and I can enjoy. I do miss the Portuguese food. The Portuguese yeah. food, nice. Yeah. And, and what, what, what would be one of your favorite dishes? If I was to go there, you know, and you'd say, you've got to have, have this one dish, what would it be, do you reckon? Uh, I guess I will go with my number one. Okay. Uh, it's called uh, bacalhau abras. It's like cod. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. So you, nice... Would you, can you cook that up as well? You? I've tried once, but it was... Uh... <laughs> I'd rather when my, my mum does it. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll come home when Mrs. Diaz is cooking as well. Like, okay. Um, what, what do you do to, to make yourself feel at home? Obviously, you've been in Manchester now for a little bit, kind of. How did you make the space, you know, your own? How do you, what are home comforts for you? That's a, actually a very good question. Uh, not, so why am I? I've never, never been asked that. I'm a very organized person, so my house always needs to be clean. Okay. Everything needs to be in its place. Uh, I do like to take my, my free time in peace. Yes. So. I do feel at peace at home, so I would say, yeah, yeah uh, I, feel, I feel comfortable in Manchester. Yeah. But speaking of, we mentioned before about you moving a lot and we're here to talk about home. I wondered if, if when you moved, obviously coming from Benfica, if you could only choose three things to bring with you to Manchester, what would they be? Difficult question, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm here. <laughs> um, I would definitely bring my family, even though they didn't come. Yeah. And I think we did the right choice because it was the time for it. Uh, my dogs. We can include the dogs in the family, but the hey, dogs. The dogs. Oh. Oh, what dogs? What dogs are they? Really? I've got a German Shepherd and oh. a, a Canish toy, but it's not a normal Canish. It's an aggressive dog. <laughs> 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 Keeps you on your toes and does it yet. <laughs> okay, there's, it comes with a warning. Um, then, of course, this is the big one, the desert island question. You're on a desert island. Now, I'm saying it's a lovely desert island. It's Caribbean. It's white sand, blue skies, but you can only have three items with you. What would you go for? Three items on a desert well, island. Well, first of all, I need to have some company. Counting that the, the island has good food. Yeah. Nice fruits and nice now. Food. Okay, yeah, yeah. I honestly wouldn't ask for much. That's it, you're a simple man. Yeah. Simple man, simple man. I like that. Got the beach. Got a got bit of food. company. Got company. What, what else? more do you need? One of my dogs. One, one of your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say, I'll be out on a boat somewhere. And if you do need a bit more company, I can I'll come sail to shore. Um, Ruben, absolute pleasure, man. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. And uh, come for a brew anytime. Make yourself at home with my dear.